Tonight, the ribbon was cut, marking the official opening of Capitol High School, one of Madison's public alternative schools. Armand Rahman was there to check out the new features and how students there say it'll help them grow. Charlotte, since it started as an alternative school for disengaged students, Capitol High has been split up into three sites, Capitol High East, West, and Parenting. But they would all set up within existing schools or district buildings. After voters approved MMSD's historic referendum in 2020, Capitol High students are now all under one roof. New identity. <laughs> uh, new expectations. On the surface, some of the features of Capitol High's new identity include a brand new gym with a basketball hoop. All right, let's head on down here. A culinary lab. And so they have their own kitchen space. And here. daycare space. We have an art space. Uh, we have a um, digital production room, which is not currently in use, but that's something that we're looking to use here in the future. And uh, the commons area is probably going to be the most popular hangout, which is designed to kind of mimic a college uh, dorm lobby. But for students, it's not just about those new features. They were among the 4,000 who took the district survey to make sure the space was built for them. Students had a voice, teachers had a voice, community had a voice, and this is the finished product. I really just like my math class and my child parenting class. It's very convenient and it's helpful. It's quick, you get to your classes fast. It's not really too much of a hassle. McCullough Johnson knew someone who attended one of the old Capitol High Schools. She got an email about an opening at this new location. I kind of figured it was going to help me if I wanted to go to college and start a career and things like that. Principal Chukudebe hopes this new space can cater to students like Makala. You're looking at a smaller school, smaller programs, to the point where every adult kind of knows your name, kind of knows your story, is familiar with the family. Makala says she's ready to pursue an education career, something she didn't think was possible before. Because I've been to East High School, La Fala High School, like, it's not really the same. Like, there is a lot of great teachers and a lot of great people at those places, but this is more like, it's more a, of a smaller environment, and it's easier to get help if you need help. The doors open September of this school year, roughly a year after construction began at the former Hoyt School building on Regent Street. Students can be referred, but the principal tells me a majority enroll after filling out an interest form.